standard of living for low and middle income households and increased awareness and usage of energy efficiency and renewable energy modalities. Like you, CDB recognizes the central importance of human capital formation and the critical role of institutions like the DFC in the provision of affordable credit for, for education purposes. Higher education has contributed significantly to poverty reduction here in Belize and across the region. For decades, access to higher education has enabled many of our people in the lower economic strata to acquire the knowledge and skills needed to take advantage of employment opportunities, to improve the quality of their lives, and to transition out of poverty. CDB has supported the government of Belize in enunciating a vision for the sector by financing the development of the education sector strategy, which was developed in 2011, and the current education sector reform project which is being implemented. This seventh consolidated line of credit will provide about 2.5 million US dollars for student, loan, for student loans and those pursuing tertiary and technical education. This includes an allocation of about half a million dollars to fund students from financially disadvantaged households who have the academic capability and qualifications but are constrained by low and irregular income and their inability to meet security requirements for the loan. The government has also recognized the important role that micro, small, and medium enterprises play in the economy of Belize, particularly in terms of harnessing diversity, innovation, and entrepreneurship, as well as providing employment opportunities. Access to affordable credit by these groups remains constrained by inadequate security, high administrative costs, and insufficient funds for unlending by specialized micro-enterprise credit institutions. And we recognize that there is a strong demand for funding by these small-scale entrepreneurs in Belize. Through this line of credit, DSC will be able to make loans to approved financial institutions, including organizations like the credit unions, so that they can unlend to micro-enterprises.